<laughs> oh my god. Whoa, ho, ho. we got ourselves an elite clue scroll from an abyssal demon. That is rare. I want to say, like, double the rarity of a whip, which, not that I need whips, but, uh, anyways, there is an elite clue. We will do ourselves a master when the task is done. Come on, man. The first step, flared trousers. Well, I guess, I mean, the last time I got this step, I didn't go for it, but I suppose I will this time, so... I don't know how many easies I have done, but let's go do like, I don't know, 30 easies, something like that. See if we get lucky, I guess. I don't think I have either of these. I mean, I'll find out when I go to my house, but a blue beret and a black helm H4. Neither of these look very cool. I, t I mean, the black helm is okay, I guess, but like, I'm never going to wear this. Let's be real. Why, hello there. That is my, I believe my third golden chef's hat now. I try to drop my duplicates, but these are pretty expensive, so I'm gonna hang on to it, you know. You gotta boost that bank value however you possibly can. Tell me I don't look just like homeboy on the wall over there, by the way. That's me up there. Look at that. See, I've got a bad feeling a lot of these items are probably the same drop rate as flared trousers, but I don't know. We got ourselves a black wizard robe tee. Did this exist back in the day? I mean, I knew the Black Robe G existed way back in the day, but I can't remember if this is old school specific or not. Alrighty, we have got easy clue number 300 coming up. Ooh, a Blue Wizard at G, although I do know I already have one of those, but that's pretty cool. So, 300 easy clues. I've done about 50 today. I'm honestly thinking we just hang on to it and keep doing this because, I don't know, I I'm going to have to keep dropping my masters, so, I don't know. I, I might keep grinding it out, we'll see. A steel plate body G. I want to say I don't have one of these, but the thing is, I don't have a lot of these. So it's like, I might be closer to the full set, but still, it takes up more bank space now, so I almost don't want it. I'm pretty sure I have both of these, but that does look very nice. A black plate skirt G and an iron plate body G. 745k. What's so expensive? Is it the skirt? Oh, no. What? Why the hell would that be 500k? Okay, whatever. So that clue didn't seem like that big of a deal. But with that skirt, I actually can put full black G into my house. Thank God. Now, I do have an extra plate body that'll out, but... Uh, See, this is why doing a lot of clues is nice. Eventually, you get enough items to put it in your house, and that is so relieving. Is this a joke to you? My, my dryness is apparently funny? Ha ha ha, ha ha. Good one. Ha ha, it's hilarious. Do I have a Bob the Cat shirt? I feel, I feel like there is another clue that requires a Bob the Cat shirt, and I don't know if I have one. At any rate, great fashion scape item. Let me take that off so you can see. Wait a minute. I- Oh, there it is on the back. I'm a crazy cat iron man. I love it. Well, what do you know? Not a single Bob the Cat shirt. So, um, it's an elite clue item, which I don't really do elite clues anymore these days. But still, I guess if I ever do get that step, I have it now. So that's cool. Why, hello there. A black wizard hat trimmed. I've got a weird feeling that that completes a set. I, I could be wrong, but... Or I could be right. I knew it, too. There we go. There is a completed black Wizzy T set. Not bad. We'll throw that in the house. Hello, Golden Chef's Hat, my old friend. I, I'm i There is no way that this is not as rare as flared trousers. And I've got, like, 73 of them, honestly. Like, this... I'm telling you, this is getting dumb. I, I feel like so many of these items are just as rare, if not maybe more. I don't know. Oh, easy clue number 383. We've got ourselves a green elegant shirt. Now, I could be wrong, but I am moderately confident that that does actually finish a set for me. Um, Let's see. 
So if I type in green, yeah, there they are. Look at that. We got ourselves a green elegant set. When I was a kid, I thought elegant looked super cool. And now that I wear it, it's kind of wonky. I don't know. I don't know if I like it anymore. But anyways, that'll go in the house. So close. It even has the word of pants in it. Like, damn it. Again, another drop guarantee. Just as rare as flared trousers. Uh, these affect some emote, but I don't know what it is. Um, let me look it up. Okay, it looks like they enhance bow. Oh, very fancy. <laughs> what the hell? I think male hand members wear corsets. This dude is thin with three ends. Okay, I believe I have not had one of these before. Clue number 418. We have got ourselves an imp mask. Oh my god. When the camera moves, you can see your eyes for a split second, and it's kind of creepy. Classic, beautiful fashion scape item. We got the black plate body G. I do already have one of these, but this will forever be one of my favorite items in the game. Kind of looks like shit with all my other items on, but uh, always beautiful. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Oh, baby. Both of those are probably... Well, okay, this has got to be just as rare for sure. Is that my first one? I don't think it is. Well, either way, now I'm a... Now I'm a gilded woman. Oh, why did I say that? Alrighty, this is going to be my 500th easy clue. Now, if you don't know what this is going to give me, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but uh, hey. Hopefully we'll get flared trousers. Looks like we did not get a bronze kite either. But we got ourselves a large spade, which is a reward you get after your 500th easy clue. All I'm going to say is I think it's cool as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Fashion Scape 101. Alright, well, that is going to be it for all of the easy clues we're going to do this episode. It's really, really unfortunate that I'm going this dry on flare trousers because... Okay, here's the thing. I personally love doing easy clues. I think they're super fun. Um, basically, what I do is I pickpocket hand members. You get them extremely quickly. And so, because you do them so fast, they're fun to do. But the issue is, is I don't get very good content out of them. Like... I, I mean, honestly, I just put like five minutes of Clue Rewards in this video, and I kind of feel bad about it, because I don't think it's that interesting. I didn't get very many items that I think you're going to give a fuck about, but what am I supposed to do? Because I did, if you look, the first Easy Clue I showed on this episode was Easy Clue 260. And the last one I just did was 500. So I pretty much did 250 Easy Clues so far this episode, and I would say I can probably do 10 an hour on average, so I've spent probably 25 hours doing clues. Well, shit. I mean, can you tell why this progress video took so long to come out? Anyways, um, that's it for easy clues. We hit 500. I'm probably going to keep grinding it and hopefully we get these trousers eventually. But anyways, I looked at your guys' feedback on last video. And a lot of you said that you do want to see my Inferno progress. So I have a bit of a skilling grind I would like to do first. And then we will get to my Inferno clips. So as you guys, I guess, may or may not know, depending upon how well you pay attention during my clips, I have been using Adamant Darts in my blowpipe for, well, a really long time. Basically, since I got my blowpipe, I've been using Addy Darts. And since I've been doing the Inferno, it kind of prompted me, maybe I should upgrade to Rune. Now, my current smithing level is 86, which isn't bad, but... Unfortunately, it's not quite high enough to make rune dart tips. As you can see, rune dart tips are level 89. So, my plan is, I've got, let me see how many. I have a little over 24,000 gold ore. I'm guessing mostly from blast mining that I've been doing and probably raids too. Um, I'm going to do gold bars here at the blast furnace, which is very fast XP per hour. I'm going to get up to level 88 and at that point, I'll probably use, what is it, a Dwarven Stout, I think. You can buy a ton of those, and uh, they give you a plus one boost. I know, everyone's like, oh, just get the level. Dude, I like boosting, I like saving time. Dwarven Stouts are easy to get, so, okay. Anyways, we're gonna do some Blast Furnace, get ourselves the Lady 8 smithing, so we can upgrade to Rune Darts. Which, by the way, I have a lot of Rune Bars, so you can have Dart. 3.5k Rune Ore! Oh, dude, that's... Okay, my quick maths is bad, but that's... That's like 35,000 darts or something like that. Alrighty, there we go. There is level 87 smithing, as you can see in the chat box. I don't think I unlocked anything, so 
We just got one level left to go. It is 411 KXP. I think I can get about 300 KXP per hour if I try hard. So we're looking at like, well, I can't calculate that, but like an hour and something, all right? Alrighty, this should be my final inventory of gold ore. Yeah, this didn't take very long at all. I've probably been here for like two hours, and uh, there we go. There is level 88 smithing. I can make Addy plate bodies. Neat. Now, that, of course, is not high enough to make the rune darts, but I believe if I go to... Is it the Falador bar? I don't know. One of the bars I know sells a bunch of dwarven stouts, so should be pretty easy to boost this up. Alrighty, well that is all of the current runite bars I have made into darts, so we have 5.7k rune darts, which should last me for quite a while. Now eventually, I'll have to turn these 3500 runite ore into bars, but that's another situation. Actually, I think making rune without the coal bag is terrible, so do I have the coal bag? No, I don't. Uh, how many nuggets do I have? 133? I'm hoping that's enough of the bag, but anyways, yeah, good enough. Alrighty, well, like I mentioned, it is time to show my Inferno runs. Now, last episode, like I said, I showed you guys some Inferno runs. Some of you said it was boring. Some of you said show the progress. Well, I decided to show the progress of clips where I made it pretty far. Basically, I guess, spoiler alert, if I didn't make it to Zuck, I didn't put it in the video. Because I figured then, that can't be that boring, right? So, um... I will say this, uh, I feel like I've come a long way, uh, last episode, if you recall, the farthest I got was wave 67, and then I died tragically, might I add, it was very, it was on, it was on CNN and the whole night, it was tragic, uh, <laughs> I died on wave 67 to a singular jad, and, uh, well, I feel like I did a lot better, um, now, just a little backstory on my main. When the Inferno first came out, like a year ago, or however long it's been already, um, I did make it to Zuck on my main. Now, when I got to Zuck, I didn't really know what to do, and I died. So, this is not my first time making it to Zuck. Um, my main had it better off, even. My main had uh, a Kodai one and an Ellie, so... Technically, you know, this account is a little bit worse off than my main was, but anyways, let's, uh, let's get to the live commentary. Oh, no, I'm behind it. Shit. So, shield's gonna break. Oh! No way did I just get hit a 73. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh man, I think they were hitting the same tick. As if I got hit a 73! <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, you know what? That's my first time making it to Zuck on my Iron Man. That's the farthest I've ever made on Zuck. Obviously, you can tell. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing. That was that was my first time getting that far on Zuck, so... I got a lot to learn with, with you know, dealing with Zuck, but hey. By far, our new personal best, and uh, progress is progress. So, watching that first Zuck attempt back, I you know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I don't use this word lightly because I hate how overused this word is in 2018, but that attempt was honestly pretty cringe. Like, I did almost everything wrong. I didn't stay with the shield. I didn't attack the minions right away at all. I thought the minions fucked the sh It was just... Listen, it was bad, alright? It was my first attempt, and you could tell. Now, this was actually the day later, and let's see how I do this time. Oh, that's gonna be... Fuck. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not far enough over. Fuck. Yeah, vials will help. Shit. Ah, uh, I thought I was far enough over. No! <laughs> yeah, I think I think I gotta turn my vial smasher off. I can see how the vials are helpful. Ah, uh, I can see how the vials would be nice there, because I thought I was good, but I wasn't. Shit! Well, we made it to Jad, though. That's good. Progress. I mean, compared to last time, I didn't even get it below a thousand health, so... We got it to Jad now, so, okay. I think next time... Turn Vile Smasher off, drop Vile so I know when I'm safe for sure. But I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that run. That was way better than last suck. Alright, attempt number two in comparison to attempt number one. So much better. Like a million times better. Now, obviously I didn't get it, but still. I would say, you know, if you watch attempt number one and then number two, that was miles better. I think... Honestly, attempt number one was nerves. I was so goddamn nervous that I was, I was, I was trying too hard, basically. I was clicking all over the place, like, oh my god, I gotta run here right now, right? And, and, you know, I've noticed the more infernos I do, you just kinda get the feel for, alright, I need to walk here, and then I can shoot, and then I walk some more, and now I can shoot. Whereas when you first start the inferno, you're just, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta hump the shield, I gotta, you know, you just... You, you let nerves take control of what you do too much, and uh, I think I got the hang of it pretty quick. Fuck, these little guys are messing me up. Well. There's the last of my food. Wait, 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 wait. I should wait now. I should wait, I should wait, I should wait until the minions spawn now. Come on, blowpipe. Come on, blowpipe, please. Fuck. I didn't move to the shield fast enough. Shit. Shit! I got too greedy with the blowpipe on the ranger. I didn't want the ranger to kill me. I didn't step over to the shield fast enough. Shit! Close though. I almost killed the I almost killed the range. All right. So this is Zuck attempt number four. Uh, this run I decided to bring an extra brew because I noticed in my previous runs every time I got to Zuck I had like five restores left, which is way more than you need. And let's be real, I'm no wooks, so. Bringing an extra brew I figured would be a good idea, increase my margin for error a little bit. Now one thing I wish I would have for, you know, the Inferno is the Falador Shield 4. If you don't know what that does, it increases, or it heals your prayer to full twice a day. So it's basically like having two super restores in one inventory slot, so, I don't know. For future attempts, I might want to try to grind that out, but, uh, anyways, this is attempt number four. I really wanted to try to focus on sticking with the shield better, because I noticed in all of my previous attempts, I keep getting hit by Zuck, so, I don't know, I try to make it an effort to really stick with the shield better. Alright, <clears throat> never done healers before, so, see how that goes. <clears throat> mm-hmm. 
Right, so he's gonna do, uh... He's gonna do more minions pretty soon here, but uh, I don't know when exactly. It's a timer-based thing, so it's hard to say exactly when. I'm also not range potted, which fucking sucks. It's gonna make this harder than it needs to be. Come on, blowpipe. I think I should probably just leave Prey Mage on and leave that alive, but he has a lot of hit points, so I don't know. I don't know if I should kill it or not. He's gonna spawn. Oh no, I think I'm dead there. Twisted Bow, I know I'm not range potted, but I really need you to just do your thing, you know what I mean? Twisted Bow, I really need you to just fucking give Zuck the business, you know what I mean? Come on, Bo, please. <laughs> yes! Let's fucking go! Woo, baby! Oh, man, I'm so happy. Yes! <laughs> oh, my heart is fucking beating. Whew. Yes, boys! We fucking did it. I have no idea how many tries that took me. But we got the Infernal Cape. Alright, you ready, boys? Oh, there it is. Oh. This is like the most relieved I have ever been in my life. And you know what the best part is? I still have 2,900, thank you. I still have 2,900 dragon arrows left for raids. I didn't even use them all. Oh, I'm so happy. How long did it take me? 151 minutes. So, what, two and a half hours? Can you hear it in my voice? I'm like, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Oh, man. Well, <clears throat> it may be almost a year late. It may be, unfortunately, I did use pillars, I did use supplies, and it's not three in one inventory, but I finally got my first Infernal Cape. Oh, I'm so happy, dude. So I think it's safe to assume I'm probably gonna record the outro of pretty much every video from this angle from now on, so get used to it. No, but for real though, um... Considering my personal best at the end of last episode was wave 67, I really don't think anybody expected that I would get the cape this episode, including myself. I was getting pretty down on myself for a while there, where I was really struggling, and I was like, man, I'm not even gonna beat this shit by the end of the year, and 
I don't know. I guess it just kind of started clicking. Um, honestly, though, I, I cannot say thank you enough to my Twitch chat. There were so many scenarios. Because I, I streamed every single Inferno attempt I did. And there were so many scenarios where I, I, you know, on the other side of the pillar, there's 15 blobs, fucking Betty White and my mom. I mean, you know, I, and I would just be like, what the hell do I do? And my, you know, there was always somebody in my chat to be like, oh, you got to stand here, pray this, attack that, switch prayers. Like, they, you know, somebody was always there to walk me through it. Um, I also studied Charles's guide on YouTube. So thank you to him for that. And, um... I don't know. As as much as I self-roast, uh, I must say I'm 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 pretty proud of myself, you know. And I get it, you know, Wooks actually just the other day did a no supply attempt, he did a no pillar attempt, Lake did a no pillar. But I'm not those guys. And so, you know, I, am I wrong for being proud of myself for getting this? I hope not, because I really am. I I thought this was gonna take me a lot longer to get than it did, so um I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I apologize that it took so long to make, but at the same time, I don't apologize because actually a few days ago, I was thinking, I'm like, fuck, I haven't uploaded a video in a while. And, you know, the reason why it took so long is because all I was doing was easy clues in the Inferno and I didn't get the trousers. And at the time, I didn't have the cape. And so I'm like, damn, all I've been doing is easy clues in the Inferno and I got nothing to show for it. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to try for at least a few more days. Before I call it quits and just upload the video and be like, sorry, I didn't get it, feels bad, man. And, uh, it was worth it. The wait was worth it. So, um, I think in a couple days here, you guys should probably see a video from me. I really want to make a montage. I very rarely make videos with music and stuff, but I want to make an Infernal Kate montage for fun. So, um, look out for that soon. Also, you guys have any suggestions? How should I fashion skate with this thing? I don't know what to wear. I think the clue gear, I mean, the, the achievement gear always looks cool, but I don't know. I was doing... Something like this before and like it's cool, but the cape isn't really red either You know what I mean? The cape's not really red. So it's like I I, I don't know if you have any fashion scape suggestions by all means hit me up, but um Yeah, that was a massive goal on my list knocked out. We got ourselves the infernal cape I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, I will see you all very soon